This video is about properties of 9. We will discuss digit sum and more. This is video number 5 in the series of videos. Let's continue. Some outline here. We are going to discuss this cap, uh, topic in various sections and the first section is operations with 9. Alright, let's see what is special about 9. Number 9 derives its special properties from being close to 10. In fact, it's less than 10 and 1 less than 10. It's a, 10 is a natural base number and 10 is the first natural base number which is more than 1. Okay, It's the smallest base number which is more than 1. Okay, let's continue. We can use this property that 9 is equal to 1 less than 10 to simplify the operations involving 9. Okay, so what do we do here? By addition and by subtraction, we change 9 into 10 minus 1 and that gets me a simpler and equivalent problem. So we can so change one problem into a simpler and equivalent problem and we use that property uh, uh, that 9 is 10 minus 1 uh, to simplify. Do some operations here. Example. Forty-three plus nine. Okay. Now we can do by addition and by subtraction. We can change nine to ten minus one. Let's see. So it's a forty-three plus nine plus one and minus one. Okay. Which is equal to forty-three plus ten minus one. <coughs> and forty-three plus ten is fifty-three. Minus one is fifty-two. Let's continue. So that's fifty-three minus one. Forty-three plus ten is fifty-three minus 1 which is 52 now. Let's do another example here which is 78 plus 9. Okay, Again 9 is 10 minus 1 so 78 plus 10 is 88 and minus 1 is 87. Let's continue see. It's 88 minus 1. Look at some examples here. Example I'm doing is subtraction. Example is 87 minus 9. Again, 9 is equal to 10 minus 1. Let's replace that. So it become 87 minus 10 minus 1. We have replaced 9 by 10 minus 1 in the parenthesis. Let's continue here. So that is 87 minus 10 is 77. And this negative and this negative become positive. So that means plus 1. This 87 minus 9 is equal to 87 minus parenthesis 10 minus 1 parenthesis equal to 77 plus 1 and which is equal to 78. Let's continue. Another example here. 68 minus 9. We do another example. Again, minus 9 is equal to minus 10 plus 1. Okay, let's do 68 minus 10 is 58. 58 plus 1. 68 minus 9 First, we replace by 68 minus 10 plus 1. Then, first two terms, 68 minus 10 become 58 and plus 1. Answer is 59. So, 68 minus 9 is 59. We did that. Simplify that using 9 is equal to 10. Example in multiplication now. First example I'm going to consider is 256 times 9. Again, we will replace 9 by 10 minus 1. Let's continue. So that is equal to 256 times 10 minus 1. And that's equal to, now we do 256 times 10 is 2560. And 256 minus 1 is 256. I split this number in 2, whereby 2 right digits are one side and the rest of the left are on one side. And we will use the number, this is called number splitting here. And I will use that to simplify my Simplify my problem. So instead of doing 22560 minus 256, I'm going to do that on left part is 25 minus 2, 23. On the right, it is 60 minus 56 is 04. So you can use the number splitting to simplify your problem when possible. Okay, let's continue. Another example 37 times 9. Okay, again, 9 is 10 minus 1. Let's continue, which is that. We replace this problem by an equivalent problem of 37 times parenthesis 10 minus 1. Okay, let's solve them. 37 times 10 is 370 minus 
37 times 1 is 37. So 370 minus 37. And you can subtract 37 from 70, which is 33. And answer is 333. So we did 37 times 9. We replaced the 9 by 10 minus 1. And multiply that out. And then we get subtraction problem here. 370 minus 37. And to a division problem now. We are going to divide a number by 9, so our divisor is 9. For that, we will keep adding digits of the dividend to get both the quotient and the remainder. Let's uh, consider the example here. Example I'm going to take is 341 divided by 9. So first quotient digit is Q1, which is equal to 3. We got 3 from very leftmost dividend digit. So leftmost quotient digit is the leftmost dividend digit when divided by 9. Okay. Second quotient digit is Q2, and that is Q1 plus the next dividend digit. So 3 plus 4 is 7. Also, you can say first two digits add up to second quotient digit. And then now the remainder. Remainder is this 7 plus the last di digit, 1. 7 plus 1 is 8, and also you can say that is 3 plus, plus 4 plus 1 is 8. So we have a first quotient digit 3, next quotient digit 2, and remainder 8. Okay, let's see what happened now. So that means we have a 341 divided by 9 is 37, remainder 8. Okay, let's, okay, we performed no real division and we kept adding digits. Okay, so we got, we managed to do a division by 9 by adding the digits. Some exercises now. You can try 67 plus 9, 2, 3, 4 plus 9, 78 minus 9, 4, 7, 6 minus 9, 123 divided by 9, 143 divided by 9, 5, 8, 9 times 9 and some more. Okay. Okay, now we are second section and we are going to discuss digit sum in this section. Okay. The digital sum is digit sum of a number is sum repeated if necessary of digits of that number to result in a single digit. So we are adding the digits of a number repeatedly if necessary and we want to get into a single digit of the answer. That single digit is digit sum of that given number. Okay, let's look at example here. Let's look at Number is 6483, and I'm trying to compute digit sum of that number. So we say we're going to add the numbers together. It's sum 6 plus 4 plus 8 plus 3. I still have a digit sum as a operand here. So because I want to end up with a single digit, and when I add these numbers up, I get two digits. Let's continue here. So that means if I 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 plus 8 is 18, 18 plus 3 is 21. So now I'm going to do, do digit sum of 21. That's repeated if necessary, which it said, repeated if necessary. So I'm going to repeat that again. So 2 plus 1 is 3, and digit sum of 2, 1 is 3, and that means digit sum of 6, 4, 8, 3 is 3. Okay? Let's continue here. Now we'll do digit sum of numbers, natural numbers starting from 1. So we'll walk down the number line from 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, and compute the digit sum. Let's continue here. First number is 1, and it's on single digit. Its digit sum is 1. Next number is 2. Single digit, digit sum is 2. Then 3, digit sum is 3. 4, digit sum is 4. 5, digit sum is 5. Single digit still. Digit sum is equal to the number. 6, digit sum is 6. 7, digit sum is 7. 8, digit sum is 8. 9, digit sum is 9. Okay, Let's see, repeat, uh, look at these numbers again. When we divide 1 by 9, remainder is 1, and that's the digit sum. When we divide 2 by 9, remainder is 2, which is digit sum. When we divide 3 by 9, remainder is 3, that's the digit sum. When we divide 4 by 9, remainder is 4, and that's the digit sum. Okay, When we divide 5 by 9, remainder is 5, and that's also the digit sum. When we divide 6 by 9, Remainder is 6, and so is the digit sum. When I divide 7 by 9, remainder is 7, and so is digit sum. 
9 divided by 8 by 9 remainder is 8 and so is its digit sum 9 divided 9 by 9 remainder is 0 and digit sum is 9 so digit sum is the remainder digit sum of number is remainder of the number when it's divided by 9 except when remainder is a 0 digit sum is 9 let's continue with the other uh, more digits here next number is 10 10 has two digits we could add them together 0 plus 1 is 1 so digit sum is 1 number is 10 digit sum is 1 when you divide 10 by 9 remainder is 1 let's continue for 11 1 plus 1 is 2 and when you divide 11 by 9 remainder is 2 which is digit sum let's look at next number 12 and remainder is uh, 1 plus 2 is 3 digit sum is 3 if I divide 12 by 9 remainder is 3 let's go next number here 13 1 plus 3 is 4 digit sum is 4 if I divide 13 by 9 remainder is 4 which is digit sum okay 14 1 plus 4 is 5 digit sum is 5 if I divide 14 by 9 remainder is 5 okay next number for 15, 1 plus 5 is 6, digit sum is 6. If I divide 15 by 9, remainder is 6. So let's look up here and let's continue. Observation, digit sums repeat after 9. So let's see what's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so it's a periodic with a period of 9 and each period has this number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and in that sequence. Okay, and 0 and 9 are equivalent because if I divide 9 by 9, remainder is 0 but digit sum is 9. Okay. Okay, 9 point circle. 9 point circle has 9 points 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then a number 10 also has the remainder of 1 and digit sum 1, so they repeat. Okay, uh, let's continue. Circle has 9 points label 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, which is say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, let's continue. Let's do examples here again. D digit sum of 2, 3 is digit sum of 2 plus 3 and which is 5. Digit sum of 3, 7, 6 is digit sum of 3 plus 7 plus 6 and which is 10 plus 6, 7, 16 and which is 7. So 10 plus 6, 16. 16 has two digits, 1 and 6. 1 plus 6 is 7. Let's look at another example here. 1, 8, 7. 1, 8, 7 is 9 plus 7. 1 plus 8 is 9 plus 7. Okay. And that's 1. Digit sum of 16 is 1 plus 6 is equal to 7. So digit sum of 9, 7 is 7. So 8 plus 1 was 9. That's 9 plus 7 is 7. And and digit sum of 7 is also 7. Okay. Let's continue. Presence. Uh, so we had 9 here, they didn't change the digit sum. If I had a 7 by itself, digit sum is 7. Presence or absence of 9 did not change a digit sum and we can cross out 9s. Okay, when I'm trying to compute digit sum, we can cross out the 9s. So in here, this 5 is a digit sum. It doesn't tell me which digits got added to become a, get a digit sum of 5. It only knows digit sum is 5. You could say 2 plus 3 is 5, 1 plus 2 plus 2 is 5, 2 plus 2 plus 1 is 5. So I only know that there was a number whose digit sum is 5. We had a number that's digit sum. If I have a 5 as digit sum, I don't know the number. I can't go back. It's, mapping is only one way. So digit sum of 23, digit sum maps 23 into 5. more examples here so we do a digit sum 81751 okay in this number 81751 do you see any 9 there is 1 8 plus 1 okay so let's cross that out okay so it's say now I got 751 left okay that's digit sum of 751 is digit sum of 7 plus 5 plus 1 which is digit sum of 13 and which is 4 okay let's continue Another example, 5274, see any 9 in here? This 27 is, okay? 
2 plus 7 is 9. So let's cross that out. It's equal to digit sum of 5. If you cross these out, I get 5, 4 left. 5, 4, digit sum of 5, 4 is 5 plus 4, which is 9. Okay, let's another example here. Digit sum of 1, 0, 3, 1, 8. Any nines in here? It's 1, 8 is a 9 here. 1 plus 8 is 9. So I'm going to cross that out, and which is equal to digit sum of 1, 0, 3, which is equal to Okay, let's do some exercises here. Compute digit sum of the following numbers. Okay, so try two 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 nine six seven zero three eight two nine one zero one three seven three one four two and some more. Let's continue the next section. It's about Vedic square. In this section, we would study what Vedic square is, how do I get Vedic square, and its properties, and see what kind of patterns I can make using Vedic square. Okay, let's continue. Continue with uh, let's look at multiplication table. And here is a multiplication table we all have seen, and this is a I got this table from teacher's manual. The first is counting by one, next is counting by twos, that's two, four, six, eight, ten, etc., etc. That's table of two. Two times one is two, two times two is four, two times three is six, and so on. This is a table of fives. Five times one is five, five times two is ten, five times three is fifteen, five times four is twenty, and so on. And here, the, let's continue here. In this table, numbers do not repeat as many times. First, there is only one one. Okay, two happens twice, and three happens th twice. Four shows up once here, and once here, and once here. Okay, and so on. Eighty-one happens only once. Sixty-four happens only once. Okay, fifty-six happens twice, once here, and once here. This is the main diagonal here, from top left to bottom right. And there is symmetry around this line, uh, line here. So two here and two here, three here, three, four here, four here. The so ten here and a ten here. Okay, and so so there's symmetry. Okay, there's symmetry about the. Let's continue. This is a Vedic square, and I got this square of by replacing the entries in the multiplication table by their digit sums okay so and this table also I got from a teacher's manual let's continue here so the numbers have been replaced by their digit sums okay let's continue here in this table numbers repeat more often let's see what's going I mean one is here one is here one 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 and one there was only one happened showed up only one in this column in the multiplication table okay we still have a symmetry this uh, this is the main diagonal here okay and this nine here and nine here two and a two six and a six and this is the so it's a three and a three and a six and a six three and a three okay so there's still symmetry about the main okay, let's start find patterns in uh, Vedic square Okay, let's try plotting a row 4, 8, 3, which is this row here, 4, 8, 3, 7, which I got from a fourth table. We were 4 times four, 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 3 is 12, and it's digit sum of 12 is 3, and so on. So what would we do? So we'll go from 4 to 8 to 3 to 7. So 3 is to the left of 4, then 7, then 2 is left of 3. Then 6, then 1 is to the left of 1, then 5 and 9, and then after that is a 4. Okay, so by tracing on the 9 point circle, this number 4, 8, 3, 7, 2, 6, 1, 5, 9, and a 4, you have completed a 9 point star. Okay, okay. so you can do the same, do another star by following the next line here. So from 4, you go to one, 5, start from 5, go to 1, go to 6, go to 2, go to 7, go to 3, go to 8, go to 4, and then go to 9 and come back to 5. So we have you would trace a 9-point star again by 
following this using uh, the next line over here. Okay, let's continue here. And if you are interested in more patterns, teacher's manual has a more ideas on that. Okay, so if you are into drawing patterns, check out the teacher's manual, and we get some more. Okay, let's continue with next section. We would discuss the divisibility rules by three, six, and nine, and we will use a Vedic square to do that. We'll look at the pattern for three table, which this line here. It has number three, six, nine, three, six, nine. So that means it has number three, six, nine, and repeat. And this number nine we came from multiplication table for threes. Okay, that means a digit sum of three, six, and nine means a number is divisible by three. Okay? All these numbers are divisible by three because I got these digit sum from numbers which were multiple of a threes. Okay, let's continue here. A number is divisible by three if and only if it is digit, digit sum is in three, six, nine. If digit sum is either three or six or nine, then that. Go so look at six table, which is this six line here. We we'll start with six here. And now numbers are six, three, nine, six, three, nine. They repeat six, three, nine. Same three numbers, three, six, and nine in different order. Okay. This row comes from sixes multiplication table. So these numbers, digits of all came from multiplication table from six, of six. And all the entries in the multiplication table for this row were multiple of six and were divisible by six. So for a number to be divisible by six, its digit sum has to be in three, six, nine again, but it also has to be E1. Okay? The same digit sum are also in same three three tables. So three table also has the same number, three, six, nine, six, three, nine. Okay. Okay, let's continue here. A number is divisible by six if and only if it is divisible by both by three and a two. If a number is E1, which is divisible by 2, and its digit sum is in 369, then number E1. Look at the pattern for 9th table. 9th table is either the last column or the last row. Okay, let's continue. From the last row and last column, you notice that digit sum of 9 times m is 9. So this is a 1 times 9, and this is 9 times 1. This is from 9 times 2, 9 times 3, and this is 1, uh, 3 times 9, and this is from 4 times 9, okay, and so on. So this is a 9 here, last column, 9 here in last row, okay. And these numbers in this row, this column and this row in multiplication table were multiples of 9 and those were all divisible by 9. So this digit sum is from a number which was divisible by 9. A number is divisible by 9 if and only if its digit sum is 9. Okay, let's continue here. And magic. Any number multiplied by 9 becomes 9 in the digit sum sense. So let's see what I mean by here. This was 1 times 9 is 9, so over 9 here. This thing was 2 times 9 was 18 here. 18 became 9 when we did digit sum. This thing was 3 times 9 was 27 was here, and digit sum is 9. Same here, 9 times 1 is 9. 9 times 2 was 18, and digit sum is 9. 9 times 5 is 45, and digit sum is 9. Okay? Any number multiplied by 9, because Let's restate those rules of divisibility. Divisibility by 3. A number is divisible by 3 if and only if its digit sum is in the 3, 6, 9 set. Either it's 3 or 6 or 9. If digit sum is either 3 or 6 or 9, that number is divisible by 3. Let's continue. Divisibility by 6. A number is divisible by 6 if and only if it's divisible by both 3 and 6. So that means its digit sum is 3, 6, or 9 in that set, and also 
it is even number. Okay, let's continue here. Divisibility by 9, a number is divisible by 9 if and only if its digit sum is 9. So for 9 is the, the magic thing we talked about. Its digit sum is 9, that number. Examples of divisibility. Let's look at an example here. Is 3, 4, 7, 5, 8 divisible by 3, 6, and 9? Let's look up his digit sum uh, here. Okay? His digit sum is 3, 4, 7, 5, 8 is 9 and is even. So that means it's, it's uh, di divisible by 3, 6, and 9. It's, it's, and 3, 4, 7, 5, 8 is divisible by 3, 6, and 9. That's another example here. Is 9, 7, 1, 2, 7, 7 divisible by 3, 6, and 9. First of all, digit sum is of that number is 6 and number is odd here. That means it's divisible by only 3. By 3 and not by 6. And here the exercise is identify if the following numbers are divisible by 3, 6, and 9. Numbers are first number 9, 7, 1, 2, 7, 7. Next, 4, 7, 9, 6, 1, 8. Next. 7, 8, 5, 4, 8, 2. Next. 5, 0, 2, 7, 7, 1. And some more. Okay, let's continue uh, with next section here. We'll talk about results checking with digit sum. Okay, let's continue here. In this section, you will learn how to eliminate some of the options in a multiple choice questions. Okay. See what we are talking about. Digit sum check allows the students to discard some of the options in a multiple choice question. In the digit sum check of an option does not confirm that option is wrong. Okay. If the digit sum of an option does not confirm that option is wrong. So you can use this sentence here to discard some of the options. Let's continue here and let's look at some example. Original problem is 2683 plus 1453. Let's add them together and the result I have is 4136. Okay, so add them together and I get a 4136. Okay, you can do that too. Okay, let's continue and digit sum of 4136 is a 5. Okay, a 3 and 6 add up to 9. You can discard that, uh, cast that out and so 4136 is a 4, 1, 4 plus 1 is 5. Okay, let's do a, a digit sum version of this then. Okay, so We'll take a digit sum of 2683, which is 1. Here again, 6 and 3 make a 10, make a 9, and we cast those out. 2 plus 8, 10, 10, and 10, digit sum of 10 is 1. Okay, next, same thing here. Next, digit sum of that number is 4, okay, plus 4, which is digit sum of 1, 4, 5, 3. Now, add these smaller numbers here, and that's a 5. So, this 5 and this 5 match, so digit sum matches are uh, digit sum confirms so this answer here is probably right but before you say it's yeah right or wrong you should actually check for sanity checks on this thing okay first thing is number of digits on the first line is four number of digits on second line is four and two plus one is not close to nine okay so this is nitty four digits so so four digits, that's one check. Yeah. And now, second check is this digit here, le leftmost, need to be at least equal to some of the leftmost digit. Two plus one and maybe more, maybe one more. Two plus one is three and it's a four. So that checks. On the rightmost, right digit plus right digit is a six and that checks. So you need to do some digit sums, uh, some Digit sum uh, would give you some idea that this answer is either wrong or probably right, and you do some more sanity checks to confirm your answer. Okay, let's continue here. Digit sums confirm and answer is here. Now, this time we'll do a 41862 
plus 57154. It is a 5 digits plus 5 digits. Okay. And answer I got is 98916. Okay. Okay, let's continue here. A digit sum of 98916 is 6. Okay. Let's do a digit sum version of the same thing. So digit sum version, first number is 3. 3 is the digit sum of 41862 plus 4, which is digit sum of 57154. And add these two small numbers together, it's 7. 7 and 6 do not match. So digit sum does not confirm. So this answer is wrong. This answer is wrong. And you can eliminate that option from the multiple choices. Okay, let's continue. Digit sums do not confirm, and this option for 9896 is not correct. Okay. Example here for addition here. This time I'm going to add 81064 plus 21201. Okay, let's see the answer. One of the options I'm using here is 102256. That's the option, uh, uh, one of the options. Okay, let's digit sum of this number is 102256 is 7. Okay. Let's continue. Okay, let's do digit sum version of the same problem. Digit sum version is digit sum of first number is one. Okay, digit sum of next number is six. One add two smaller numbers together. One plus six is a seven. So this one and this one matches. So digit sum confirms this is probably correct. But let's go take a look and do some sanity checks here. Okay, first of five digits here and five digits here. Okay. Okay, let's Eliminate for a while this last four digits and, and do this 8 plus 2, 10. So this is probably correct. Okay. Last uh, leftmost digit plus leftmost digit is 8 plus 2 is 10. We have a 10 here, which is to the left of four digits. Okay. Now let's do the rightmost now. 4 plus 1 is 5 and have a 6. So that doesn't match here. So that means digit sum say this is probably correct, but this in fact is not correct. Okay. Okay, let's digit sums confirm the option for 102256 is probably correct and is in fact incorrect. Actually, the correct answer is 102265, where 5 and 6 are to be replaced. Uh, that also would confirm the digit sum, and that would be the correct option. So, if this is an option for this problem, another option must be 102265. That also would confirm, and that would be correct answer. Okay, let's continue here. Let's do a digit sum checking for subtraction problem. Our problem is eight seven zero eight three minus a two 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 eight nine. Let's continue, and one of the option is six four seven nine four. Okay, let's continue. Digit sum of this thing is six four seven nine four is three. Okay, let's do it. Digit sum version of this the same problem. Okay. Digit sum of first number is 8. So 8 minus 5. A digit sum of the second number is 5. Let's do the subtraction here. 8 minus 5. 3. This 3 and this 3 matches. So digit sum confirms this option. So that means this option is probably correct. Let's continue with the multiplication problem here. We do multiplication of 23 times 34. Okay, one of the option is 782. Okay, so digit sum of 782 is 8. Okay, let's do a digit sum version of the same problem. Digit sum version, digit sum of 23, first number is 5. Of the next number is 7. 5 times 7 is 35. Do a digit sum of that. Third digit sum of 35 is 8. And 8 and 8 match. That means digit sum confirms the option 782. And that means 782 is probably correct. Okay, let's continue here. Digit sum confirms the option. The option is probably correct. We say probably correct because this is a just a necessary condition on not a sufficient condition. We have already seen that uh, when digit sums matched, the option was, one of the options was incorrect. Let's continue.
that's an example for division. A uh, problem I'm going to select is uh, 67 divided by 13, and one of the options is 5 remainder 2. Okay, and did some checking for division is indirect and involved, but let's go ahead and see we can do still do it. So let me identify the terms. Dividend is 67. I call DD. Divisor is 13. This is 13. I call DD. DR. Divisor is DR equal 13. Okay. A quotient is this term here 5, and I call Q is 5. Remainder is this term here 2. I call R. Remainder is 2. Okay. Let's continue here. Let's try to do a check somehow. So in a division problem, if Q is the, the quotient, R is the remainder of div dividing dividend by DR, then this equation must be true, okay? So that means 67 must be equal to 5 times 13 plus 2. Now we apply the digit sum check to this uh, equation here. 67, 67 is 5 times 13 plus 2, okay? Left. So digit sum of left hand side is 4. Digit sum of right side is digit sum 5 times digit sum of 13 plus 2, and which is equal to digit sum of 22, which is equal to 4. That means digit sum of left side is true, 4. Digit sum of right side is 4. That means the left side and uh, the digit sum confirms. So this is probably a correct. But let's see. You should actually try to do a establish the correctness of this equation here, which is a lot easier, at least in this uh, problem. Right side is 5 times 13 is 65, plus 2 is 67. So this match, this actually is correct. 5R2 is in fact correct, and you did not have to go through digit sum. But for a division problem, is you can go through digit sum check which is indirect but if there is another option to check you you should use that okay let's continue here so this match and digit sum is confirmed the option is probably correct and i don't have not included any problem sets for you uh, just use the teacher's manual forum for uh, example problems okay let's continue Okay, teacher manual is my main reference, and here you can find ideas for more patterns from Vedic Square, and also can find problems for checking the results using digit sum. Dirsaji does not have a section on digit sum, and I have not seen uh, digit sum being used in the book. Okay? Both Glover and Vanna Single call this digit sum a by use the term digital root. Uh, Bhatia writes books on competitions. That means uh, he is uh, very good at multiple choice problems and he is uh, keen on using digit sum to eliminate some of the options.